I finally did something that I've been meaning to because the thing was on sale um, for like half off. Uh, so I bought my less than $10 lighting setup. Now, it's not going to be like this all the time because, you know, I'm a ghost. But at the same time, like, uh, I needed something to make it so that my uh, shit-ass camera could actually pick up details. And lighting is what ultimately allows it to do that. Also, I can set the tone for my videos. Like, I can be all, like, cheerful right now because I've got the blue light on. And the blue light gives me a white aesthetic because cameras are stupid. But then if I want to be angry, I can do the red. And now I'm super angry. Um, so, <laughs> with that, well, actually, that's kind of pinkish. Let me Let me see if I can do red here. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm angry. Also, I have a sunburn because during the course of my fitness today, um, I uh, <laughs> basically got heat stroke and had to sit down and not do my normal stream and just hydrate for a bit um, because I walked six-ish miles. Um, walk, walk, mostly, honestly, I ran. It was like two-thirds of the way I ran, and some of that was with, like, 40 pounds of groceries. It was a poor choice. It was 90 degrees today. I shouldn't have done it. But, you know, it's appropriate. It's appropriate. And I didn't plan on doing this uh, this way, uh, but it's appropriate that I got a set of lights that does the rainbow aesthetic. It was actually not intentional, but now... I have the rainbow aesthetic right here in the palm of my hand to talk about how bullshit the rainbow aesthetic is and how much brands are exploiting the momentum of pride and have been for like a decade now. So I'm going to move this over to the blue light section and I'm going to turn down the brightness just a little. But basically, I thought I would bring up the fact that, you know, um, I, I had this tweet. <laughs> I had this tweet. It was just a, a shot in the dark. And, um, that shot in the dark was related to my vision for an effective pride. That being Pride Parade. Um, <laughs> my tweet here is, I want to see a Pride Parade where instead of bringing a bunch of kink gear in colors... A bunch of gender and sexual minorities are walking down the street armed in plate carriers and camo. I want a message sent that their liberty will be protected. Loud, proud, and clear. That would send a message. Now, I may have experienced a little bit of heat stroke, almost died, and you know, a little bit of just near death at tunnel vision, but I still don't think that that sufficiently cooked my eggs to make it so that, like, you know, I would be insane in thinking that this tweet is totally fine. Um, but, you know, even though most of the people who saw it were 100% okay with it, um, there was, there was one person, one person who had to, to, to piss in everybody's pot um, that being this <laughs> L.A. Draper CLE. Now, he's already been ratioed, you know. Larry Draper 15 has already been ratioed. We don't need to do it anymore unless you want to. But the whole point is that, like, his <laughs> his comment was called... It, it was, the pride parade you're talking about took place on January 6th. The misogynistic morons known as the Proud Boys led that parade... What? So, first off, uh, I want to bring back a subject which I've talked about, which has made me angry in the past. And that particular subject is the idea that no, there was no insurrection. None. There was no insurrection. The insurrection that they claim happened um, was a tantrum. Nobody was targeted. Barely any deaths. Um, not to say that there should have been more, but you know, 
if it was an insurrection, you'd think that there would have been, like, at least ten. Um, the whole idea here, like, that I'm trying to bring up, the media wants you to believe that these people are insurrectionists because the image of an insurrectionist is somebody who wants to tear the system down. But these people didn't want to tear the system down. These people didn't want to tear the fucking system down. They wanted their guy in charge of the system. And they were throwing a tantrum that the system that they knew to be corrupt, the system they knew to be a, a deep state, might have kind of fudged the numbers a little. You know, like that, that chart that suddenly, like, you know, blue is below red and then it's a... Um, but the point that I'm trying to make here is that, like, these people, they already allegedly knew that this was a thing. They already allegedly knew that the powers that should not be were in control and it was a shadowy cabal and all of that noise, right? So why... Um, did they think that Trump would be able to do anything about that? These deeply entrenched structures of power. Why, for the love of fuck, did they think a president who used to be a reality show host, a Hollywood shill, um, and who operated a series of failing businesses... Um, except his hotel, um, and, and Trump Tower and shit, which did well because, you know, rich people like a place that they can stay to do their corrupt deals in. Um, why did they think this guy was going to change anything? Well, because they are deluded. And because one of their delusions was the Q bullshit I brought up. That shit. Um, I already talked about that in another one of my vlogs. Y'all can check it out if you want. But the general gist of it is, is that Q is a psyop that was designed as a honeypot to lead a bunch of conspiracy theorists to the slaughter, and also to allow the state to more adequately monitor these people, including me. And also to allow social media companies to, you know, censor them. Sort of like I was. Now, you know, that was just a minor gripe with this. You know, it was just a minor gripe. Because, no, they didn't do an insurrection. <laughs> Not fucking remotely. And two... How the fuck do you know that the Proud Boys were in charge of that? Um, like, even if they took credit, there aren't enough Proud Boys to be all of those people. And Proud Boys are male. There were women there, as evidenced by one of them dying. So, maybe there wasn't an insurrection. Just a little bit. Maybe... People should shut the fuck up about that and stop putting actual insurrections to shame by saying, yeah, you know what? A bunch of people mad that their ruler didn't get picked who are trying to force that ruler to continue being a ruler, they're insurrectionists. No, they're not. But, like, just to be clear, uh, I'm not opposed to those. And I'm not going to say too much in that regard, but I'm not, strangely enough. So, um, I uh, resent it when it appears that people are taking those terms and misusing them. But you know what? I have a reasonable fortitude, right? I can look at this situation and laugh. Like, Mr. S., uh, posted this thing. Um, the face of an insurrection is striking fear into the heart of your brave elected representatives. 
and this little old grandma who like has barely like teeth stubs or probably little fucking screws that she just fucking glumped into there because like whatever <laughs> you know sasha can say hey the perfect time to have deleted your account and yote yourself into the sun was the moment before you hit send on a tweet comparing lgbtq people who insist on their natural rights to defense of oneself and others with the bigoted dipshits who would target them for existing i need to retweet that I also need to retweet Christian Gruber uh, because he posted, you can fuck right off with this homophobic trash take. You're going to equate gays and lesbians and the rest of us showing that we are strong and ready to defend our often very threatened lives with what you call a Proud Boys-led misogynistic event? Delete your account. Very good. I'm going to retweet that now. But the point is that, like... <laughs> no. Also... This was on a retweet, uh, well, a quote tweet, uh, by Magnus Panvidya. And he follows me. Big shout out, because uh, he is a libertarian unity guy as well. Been talking about this for like three and a half years now and constantly getting shit for it. So it's good to see somebody who might be less hostile and aggressive send out the same message. Um... And I don't know how long he's been at this. That wasn't an attempt to say anything like that. That was just me saying, like, um, my messaging style is I'm in uh, a dress shirt <laughs> with no undershirt and my chest exposed. And I'm yelling at a camera with red lighting on my face. Let me change that just to show off again. Um, but the general gist that this tweet got was good. It was a good response. Um, because <laughs> the insurrection is bullshit. It didn't happen. And to compare that, those Trump supporters, to the people that they regularly call, like, you know, degenerate scum, uh, is fucking extremely bigoted. And dare I say problematic. Um, so I'm glad this little punk got ratioed. I'm really super glad. Um, but that's not the beginning of it, really. Uh, you know, Panvidya says, I'm totally down with an armed pride parade, which is good. You know, of course, he says, still be a little kinky, though. Pretty sure a whip can fit on a QD mount. I still would rather not see that at this particular event. The whole point of it is, like, to be 100% serious. But it's not my event, you know? I'm not in this crowd. So, you know, if, if this event got organized and that happened... I have no control over that. This was merely a suggestion, right? I am dipping my toes into this subject. I am not in a swimming pool. But um, <laughs> I thought I'd bring that up because I thought I'd bring up the fact that, like, uh, this, this, this loser wants to compare everything to the Proud Boys. Well, the Proud Boys have... Uh, consistency issues and to say that they don't would be an <laughs> grotesque ignorance of the truth so let me be real fucking specific here when i say this is their platform uh this is from tenets and i had to look this up on archive.org because they fucking turned their entire site into one trump gif Gotta love how proud they are. That's some proud shit. Deleting your entire site, all of your presence, everything you've posted, and relegating yourself to a Telegram chat room <laughs> so that you can fucking just be a Trump gif. Yeah, 100% sure that that's not a shell organization, or 100% sure that they're... 100% committed to the truth or to their activism. They're not just Trump shills. Not like, you know, that's all they ever were. Um, but let, let me be real clear here. Core values of the Proud Boys. Quote, minimal government, maximum freedom, anti-political correctness, anti-drug war, closed borders, anti-racial guilt, anti-racism, pro-free speech, First Amendment, pro-gun rights, Second Amendment, glorifying the entrepreneur, venerating the housewife, 
reinstating a spirit of Western chauvinism. This is the group, the discunt, uh, compared to the Proud Boys, right? Because it's fun to ignore reality. It's fun to claim that everybody who disagrees with you or takes a different approach is a Proud Boy or some other boogeyman that you can just, like, throw a dart at on your privileged dartboard so that you can say that, you know, I don't like these people, therefore they're literally Hitler or something similar. Um, but they say in the, in the rest of this, though these are our central tenets, all that is required to become a proud boy is that a man declare he is a Western chauvinist who refuses to apologize for creating the modern world. We do not discriminate based on race or sexual orientation or preference. We are not an ismist or phobic that fits the left's narrative. We truly believe that the West is the best and we welcome those who believe in the same tenets as us. Now, there's only one line in that that could even be construed as LGBT friendly. But I can fucking tell you that so many people that I saw that either supported or identified as a proud boy... They were bigots. They were anti-LGBT. Um, sort of like, you know, this is a straw man. Now, I'm bringing this up, not because this person is like the core of a bunch of evil, but because I believe firmly that this is way too fucking common. If you can prove that somebody is being racist or fascist or something then you can say something in this regard. If you can't prove that and all you've got is vain assumptions, shut the fuck up now because you're not helping anybody. Um, all you're doing is helping yourself. You're helping yourself feel better about yourself. You're ignoring the issue itself and ultimately driving us further into the pit of bigotry itself by being evidence that broaching subjects that make you uncomfortable means that you can use your bullshit as a hiding spot. That's not what any of these people need in their image. That's part of the reason I said, hey, maybe, you know, have a rally that is focused on showing some might, showing that they have power. Uh, maybe... That'd be good. It'd be good to show that, yeah, we can defend ourselves too. And yeah, it's okay for us to have arms. And uh, maybe if you bash us, you'll get a bullet through the head. That sounds fucking great to me. But this person decided to just label what I was saying. Uh, even though I opposed the tantrum at the Capitol. Even though I have been vocal against that. Uh, I can still catch shit for it. <laughs> so I posted that, but only in a thread. And I said, anything I don't like is Proud Boys. And then I elaborated. Like, even taking them at their word, they don't do a single fucking thing for gender or sexual minorities. But sure, make it about you and your stupid fucking politics while the image of weakness projected onto them allows the real threats to make the specter of oppression you pretend to know reality. Because that's exactly what they're doing. They're like, how can I add oppression to this situation so that I can then complain about it? They're like, you know, the CIA going in and creating... Uh, the terror threat, so that they can then have a very profitable series of wars to fight. This is the kind of stuff that kills momentum. This is the kind of stuff, you know? Um, what could be a really good thing is shat on for fucking no reason. Um, other than the person who's doing the shitting feeling a little bit more relieved that they finally got that attention they ordered. I mean, I'm glad that this guy's only getting negative attention. I'm happy to be part of the reason why. But at the same time, like, he should have shut the fuck up before he started.
you know? So my point is, like, there, there's actual problems, you know? There's actual problems that people actually have. And maybe, if you actually want to solve those problems, you could do the legwork that, like, lets you do something about it. Um, but that's not the statist's goal. This person is clearly a statist. That's not the statist goal. Uh, this person is a statist because they automatically jumped to a statist bias. They're a statist because they took a post that wasn't about them and made it about them uh, in order to counter people exercising their rights. Uh, they, they're a statist because they're a loser. And that's the best domain for a loser is the state. Uh, even people who thought that my no kink rule was off, even they're on my side anyway, because the idea of a big fuck off army of LGBTQ plus people with guns and armor and camo, hell, <laughs> give them masks too, um, that is a force to be reckoned with. Those are the people you don't fuck with. But a lot of people would rather these people get fucked with than sacrifice their petty bullshit politics. You know? Or, and just to put a little bit of spin on this conversation... Uh, and, and, and make sure that I piss off everyone equally. Uh, I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people in this community, even though I'm not that community. Um, and I, I, I posted, hey, we get to see which brands we can't criticize about anything because they do the same things they would normally be criticized about, but they have a rainbow profile picture. Who wants to be the most inclusive company responsible for violence, corruption, and worker mistreatment? I haven't gotten any negative responses to that because I'm fucking right. You know? People like to use these people as shields. They also like to do it if they are those people and they have shitty politics. It's not a shield. It's who you are. And everybody can get criticized for who they fucking is. That's how things really are. You know? That's how things are. If you got a bad take, you're gonna catch some fucking wind for it. You know? Um, but so many times, I've had that thing where people assume that because I don't support the branding, because... I'm not always in a pulsating cloud of rainbow. That somehow I'm the bad guy. You know? Somehow I can't support people uh, while also thinking some aspect of something is, you know, inadequate, wrong, fucked up. I can't think that because then that might blow holes in people's pet politics. You know? And we can't have that. We can't have holes blown in people's pet politics, now can we? Statism is all about information control. It's about isolating that information. It's about making sure that that information is the only information out there. And if you really truly want freedom you need to be able to ask difficult questions, talk about difficult things. And that's the only way out. That's the non-statist way out. Um, and that's the way out I constantly push. You know? I posted additionally today because why not? A gun, fitness, and fight training is infinitely more important to preserving your rights than a rainbow flag. Hashtag pride. Because that's true. If more people in this community, the GSM community, decided to get really fucking ripped, 
decided to take tactical training, decided to go to fire courses, decided to learn martial arts, decided to learn uh, things that I can't talk about on YouTube because, you know, they're about the scary words. If, if they were learning that stuff and becoming scary and a threat to bigots, eh, bigots would stand a smaller chance of getting their tiny little fucking chair jockey fingers on these people. That's it. These people got fucking nothing. They're pathetic losers. So if you really want to help these people, give them at least a strength advantage, a tactical advantage, a weapon advantage over pathetic losers. You know? Help them actually defend themselves, all their rights, not just their rights as GSM. Armed gays don't get bashed. If there were guns at that Pulse nightclub, there would have been a lot less Pulse that night in the mass shooter. I want people to have arms that aren't in disparity with the state. I want people to be as armed as possible because the state is a violent gang of thugs. But I also want them to be armed to deal with the common thug, the not white collar thug, and I want them to be able to defend themselves ready and willing and also skilled. I want them to be fit. That's why I don't do the whole fat positivity thing. I want them to be able to to destroy that which destroys them. And I want this for everybody too. If we had more power personally, and if we stopped ceding so much of it to third parties, that is where freedom grows. That is the fertile soil for freedom. Is realizing your true power as a human being. So, with that in mind... Um, this is no longer sponsored. If you decide you want to sponsor this, feel free to fucking hit me up. But with that being said, my bullshit is over here. I think that was a relatively good video, even though I thought it'd be much shorter because I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to get some rest a little bit. Smash the state.